I'm waiting for the landscaping crew over here to move that piece of equipment out of the way. They were just scraping dirt off the roadway and it made a lot of noise. I don't think you would have appreciated that. And that's kind of the kind of day I've had today. It's been one of those days that I'm not very well appreciated, or at least my work isn't very well appreciated, or my possibility of shooting good pictures wasn't very well appreciated. I began my day knowing it was the first day of winter after the winter solstice yesterday, and it was welcomed in with uh, chilly weather, a little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine, it's finally gray again. It's not very pleasant at all, so I'm out trying to find photographs, and there's really not a lot going on. People are not doing much shopping. Uh, I did look at Uptown Westerville for shoppers, didn't find much there. Did find something else that didn't quite work out, but I'll come back to that. The first thing I did was I noticed that they were doing some more work over at the electrical substation near the Allen Creek Main Street bridge area. And I've wanted to get a good picture over there. I know I, I got a picture a while back of the city cleaning it up so they could get it ready for the refurbishment. And I wanted to get something of it actually doing something. But most of it hadn't been very good, so I hadn't, hadn't made any photos. But I found a thing that might have looked good today, so I parked the car, got out, put all my cameras around my neck, and started walking around, and became followed by one of the guys who were working inside the enclosure. He eventually came over to me after I'd walked the full circle around the enclosure trying to find a good angle. He eventually came over and kind of gave me an unusual want to know who the hell I was and what I was doing. And I'm more than happy to tell people that, but this guy just did not seem to be very happy to be having a picture taken. And I said, dude, just tell me, you don't want to have a photograph of you, I won't make a picture of you. He said, I don't want a photograph of me. I said, okay. He said, well, you really shouldn't be out here making pictures of this. And I said, I gave him a standard answer. It's a public space. Anybody can make pictures out here anytime they want, day or night, when they're here or when they're not here. You're not going to be able to stop someone from making photographs. I gave him all my details. He asked my name. I told him my full name. I asked him his name. He would only give me his first name. So I have to mark that down in my book as one of those little moments. Eventually, I went off and did some other things and kind of gave up on trying to get a picture there because it just didn't look very good. But I will come back and I will make a picture there when they're doing some of the other things, like moving in some of the new heavy equipment. Right now, they were just doing some light equipment work. Wouldn't have made a great picture. It would have been okay. But I haven't got a picture there yet, and I really want to get a picture at some point. So I'll come back to that. Then I went uptown to look for the shopping pictures and they're not a lot worth taking a picture of. There's not a lot of shoppers. But I did notice that I did notice that the ice sculptures were being picked up. Actually, the sculptures were going to stay, and the boxes that they're sitting on were being picked up. So I said, you know, I'll have to try to get a picture of that. And the very first one that I shot, I wasn't thinking what was going to happen. The guy picked it up, and it crumbled in his hands. Didn't get a very good picture of it because he had turned away from me when it happened. So for the next hour or so, I followed him to every ice sculpture I could come to. None of them crumbled like the first one did. Most of them did crumble in some way, but not like the first one did falling apart in his hands. So I had a moment or two where I was wishing and hoping, thinking that I might get a picture and never did. But I'm sure that one of those pictures will be my final photo. Not sure which one it'll be yet. I've got to take a look and check the edit. Uh, I shot both with the still camera and with my iPhone. We'll just see what it looks like, and I'll make that my final. I'll link to it down below. I might post some of the others someplace so you can see them. It was one of those days where I had a lot of plans. I, I, I knew there were things I might want to do. I did what's called the usual suspects. I went to all the usual places that I can go, thinking there might be people there doing things. Nobody was doing anything. The only thing that was happening was the guys working on the power substation and removing the ice sculptures from uptown. One resulted in no photographs and a slight disagreement, and the other resulted in what I think may be my final photo. But the best part of the day is I'm going home to homemade chili. Now, I can't decide whether I have chili or chili dogs. That's a great dilemma to have, isn't it? Chili, chili dogs. Maybe I can have both. 
I do have some beer in the refrigerator. I'm not planning on going anywhere tonight. Boy, this is going to be a great night. I hope this edit turns out well because I'm going to have chili or chili dog or chili and chili dog and at least one beer because I think that's all that's cold. I'll let you know what happens because it'll be whatever this turns out to be. All right. Enjoy yourself. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all that YouTube stuff. I really appreciate it. I'd like for you to get me up to 100. I might not ever trim this beard till you get me up to 100,000. How's that? Maybe I'll go a thousand times more than what I wish I had. Maybe that's the way you should live your life, where you get a hundred thousand of what you only want a hundred of. Hundred thousand smiles, kisses, hugs, slaps on the butt, hundred thousand bowls of chili, and a hundred thousand chili dogs. Man, that's a lot of pigs and a lot of cows. Ugh. Maybe I should just invest in a farm. Yeah, maybe that's it. All right, talk to you another time. I'll be back in a minute. Have a good night. Enjoy your hot dog. Chili dog. Enjoy your chili. <laughs>